raise chaos in ZANU PF after the Constitutional Court orders uh, Parliament to review exorbitant poor candidates' fees. The court said Parliament failed in its duty to examine controversial statutory instrument to see whether it breached uh, the Constitution. And um, the Zimbabwe Electoral Commission was uh, uh, asked to actually stop using these um, uh, exorbitant nomination fees and the parliament was told to convene on the 16th of June or before the 16th of June to deliberate on the issue of uh, the exorbitant fees. But however, I find it difficult for, for us to say this is justice for the sake that um, this matter will go through parliament, the same parliament uh, which is dominated by ZANU-PF. ZANU-PF do have my, uh, two-thirds majority in parliament. They can pass decisions. They can do whatever they want um, with, the, 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 with, the, the, with their numbers in parliament, which means uh, that um, uh, by referring this issue to, 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 to parliament, I believe that uh, this is just an ambush uh, because uh, 16 June, this is uh, just a few days from the nomination court and uh, Parliament can just uh, say these are, 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 are good charges. They can uh, actually uh, say the charges are okay. And um, it will be a very, very, very difficult issue for, for the people who are banging on this uh, or the people who are saying that um, uh, uh, these charges uh, must be reviewed. So you will see that um, this is a problem. The court was supposed just to... to, to to, to review these uh, prizes, uh, the, these, these, these charges downwards without even hesitating because we know for sure that uh, we had uh, 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 these, these fees in the past. It's reasonable for a president to pay 1000 and it's reasonable for an MP to pay $50 even though we are calling for, for, for this to be free. It's reasonable for the councillor not to pay anything. So these are the important issues they would have dealt with uh, within uh, the, the constitutional court itself. But we applaud this decision, we applaud this move, and we wait to see what will happen. We wait to see if the, 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 the Parliament of Zimbabwe is going to deal with this matter and review these um, uh, charges downwards. So this is it, Tim Zimbabwe. Let us meet in other episodes and the broadcast.